Hallo, ich bin Adam, 24, vom großen KZQ Team. Ich wurde in Schottland geboren und habe in St. Andrews Physik studiert. Jetzt arbeite ich am Max Planck Institut für Physik komplexer Systeme in Dresden. Hier erforsche ich die Quantentheorie von Magneten. Über die App KZQ habt ihr uns wieder tolle Bonusfragen geschickt. Heute geht es um Überraschendes, nämlich um Quantenphysik im Alltag. Also, wo ihr quantenphysikalische Phänomene im täglichen Leben entdecken könnt. What quantum effects can I see around me in my house? Is there really quantum physics in our own home? Wow, that's an exciting question. And actually, we're surrounded by quantum effects. In the last video, we explained that the crazy phenomena of quantum physics occurs in the tiny world of atoms. But they still have effects on our normal daily life. Many objects at home and all of our modern electronics are based on the laws of quantum physics. Shall we see some examples? Example 1. The refrigerator magnet. A normal magnet, like those you have at home, is a great example of everyday quantum physics. Now, for a long time, it was not understood from where the magnet gets its magnetism. Because to understand this, you need to combine quantum physics with Einstein's theory of special relativity. You've probably already read about that in Kittypedia, in the game Kitty Q. It might sound complicated, but it's not actually that hard. So, one insight from quantum physics is that the tiny little electrons have magnetic properties. Every electron is a tiny bar magnet. Our world is made of atoms with electrons, and in some materials, all of those electrons align in the same direction, making a permanent magnet like iron. And we can use the magnetic properties of such materials not only to hold things to your fridge, but in loudspeakers, in waste separation, in electrical motors, or generators in wind power plants. Example 2. Your smartphone. Semiconductors. You may have heard this word before. Microchips are made of semiconductors, without which smartphones, tablets or computers wouldn't function. Now, to explain what semiconductors and your smartphone have to do with quantum physics, I will have to go into more detail. As I've said, our world is made of atoms with electrons. Metals like iron or copper conduct electricity because their electrons are free to move. Insulators like rubber or glass do not because their electrons are bound in place. Semiconductors are special. Sometimes they act like a metal and sometimes like an insulator. Normally, their electrons are bound in place, but when they receive energy, for example in the form of heat, they can become unbound and an electrical current can form. One of the most famous semiconductors is silicon, and with the help of one of Erwin Schrödinger's equations of quantum mechanics, the Schrödinger equation, one can understand the properties of such semiconductors and then influence them by adding impurities. This doping process greatly extends the range of applications from microchips to temperature sensors and so on. Semiconductors can even be made to glow, giving us light-emitting diodes or LEDs. Quantum physics is therefore the basis for all of our modern electronics, including your smartphone. By the way, if you want to know more about Owen Schrödinger, you can read about him in Kittypedia in the game Kitty Q. The next question also concerns the application of quantum physics. How can we apply quantum in our day-to-day -day life? You now know that quantum physics plays a role in many things that we use every day. And it will have even more influence. Just think of the quantum computers that are being researched all over the world and that you can read up on in Kittypedia. Quantum physics can even help us when we're sick, believe it or not. Magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI for short, is important for examining injuries and many diseases. The mechanism behind it also relies on quantum physics. With MRI, it is possible to take a detailed image of the inside of the body and look at tissue and organs in three dimensions. MRI functions with radio waves and magnetic fields roughly 30,000 times stronger than the Earth's magnetic field. This strong magnetic field is produced in a tube in which the patient lies. Now what happens? We humans are made of many atoms, and the hydrogen atoms in our bodily fluids or in our fatty tissues have quantum characteristics, just like all other atoms. They possess a so-called nuclear spin, 
and act like tiny bar magnets, just like the electrons we discussed for the fridge magnet. The strong magnetic field of the MRI scanner aligns the spins of the atoms like the needles of a compass. Then, to make the image, the atoms are prodded with radio waves. This makes them circle around in the magnetic field, emitting radio waves themselves as they move. From this, we can calculate the image, and the cause of a disease can be found. That this works so well is thanks to quantum physics, because it is through our knowledge of quantum physics that we know exactly how spins behave and can evaluate the signals from the MRI scanner. Und nun noch viel Spaß mit Katsuku. Und bis zum nächsten Kurze Pause Wissenschaft.